All right, so I'm back with another video. It's probably been a bit too long since I've made one, but I feel like this is a pretty important issue and I really felt like I should make a video about it. And this can help even my friends and family, so I feel like it's pretty important. And what this is about is actually managing your passwords online. A lot of people think it's really difficult to use a different password for every service they sign up for. So they keep using the same one or two passwords that they have memorized. And the reason this is dangerous is because there's a lot of data breaches nowadays and we really can't trust these companies to keep our passwords safe. So nowadays there's a lot of password managers that you can use. And the one I'm gonna be showing you how to use today and incorporate it into your browser and onto your cell phone is called Bitwarden. And it's actually free. It has a lot of features that other services make you pay for. I used Dashlane in the past and it actually, they upped their fee for features that I didn't really even want. So that led me to actually find out about Bitwarden and it offers the same thing and in fact is even a little bit better. So you can actually install Bitwarden and create your account at bitwarden.com. I recommend you do so. I've already created an empty account for the sake of this video to show you how it works and how you can actually start incorporating it when browsing online. So as you can see, my vault is empty right now, but what this vault is will actually be a list of all your logins when you start adding to your Bitwarden vault. So for the sake of showing you how it works, I've created a new Twitter account and I've got to the step of actually making my password. And this is when Bitwarden would actually come in handy. But what we need to do first is actually add the Bitwarden extension to our browser. So it'll be kind of a seamless process when you're creating new accounts on any different website. So what I'll do is, and I'm actually using a, a browser called Brave, but it's built on the Chrome engine. So this will look very similar to Chrome. So you want to get to the Chrome web store. So once you're at the store, you want to actually go to extensions and you're searching for the official Bitwarden extension. So here it is here. I'll go ahead and click add to Chrome. I'll add the extension. And when you've done so, you'll see this gray shield pop up in the right corner. And that's where you'll be able to access Bitwarden as the extension in your browser. So I'll go ahead and close these tabs so I can actually show you how Bitwarden works in action. So when I'm at the password screen, I'll go ahead and click this. So what I'll need to do is actually log into my vault that I created. I'll create a temporary email for the purpose of this video as well. So I'll log into my vault and now my Bitwarden vault is ready to go. So when I get to the screen of, of having to create a password, I'll go ahead and click the Bitwarden vault and that's where I can add a login. So if I simply click add a login, it recognizes that I'm on twitter.com. So it already covers that part for me. I'll go ahead and type in my username. In this case, I'll just type 30. A lot of the times it'll actually just be your email, so you could also put that. And when you get down to the password section, that's when you can actually have Bitwarden generate a password for you by clicking this somewhat of a rotate symbol. You can generate a password and it'll pull this up and you can actually get fancy with it if you want to. You can add symbols, you can control the length of the password it's generating. 15 is a pretty good length. And as you can see, this is the password that's generated for me. So when if you're happy with what it's generated, you can go ahead and just copy it. And the beauty about this is you don't have to memorize this password because Bitwarden will keep it stored in the vault for you. So I don't even have to remember any of these letters, symbols, and numbers because Bitwarden will have it saved. So when I've, when I've chosen that password, as you can see, it filled the password form for me. I can go ahead and just click save. So now you can see I've added a login to my Bitwarden vault. And here it is, twitter.com. So I can close out of this and you can see that little one popped up right here on my, my Bitwarden icon. And that number means that Bitwarden is recognizing that I'm on twitter.com and it knows what password I need. So when I click it, I can actually click this little key and it automatically copies the password for me. And that's when I can simply paste it into my on my Twitter account creation. And it's needing me to, to verify my email, but that's kind of besides the point. As you can see, that's how Bitwarden kind of works in action. So for the sake of showing you, because I know that might have been a little confusing, I'll go ahead and sign up for another service. So I'm on reddit.com and I'm not going to actually show you how I would do it in action if I were signing up for Reddit. So it's asking me for an email. I'll type in my temporary email, click next. I would type in a username 30 demo. And this is where I would generate a password as well. So I'll come up here, add a login. It recognizes that I'm on Reddit. I'll type in my username, which in this case is 30 demo. Click the generate icon. I'm happy with this password. I'll select it and then I'll save. 
It recognizes that I'm on reddit.com, so it shows that specific login. I'll click it and it auto fills the password section for me. So I'll, I'll verify I'm not a robot. And when I've done all this, I'll click next. As you can see, I'm successfully logged in. So say I didn't use Bitwarden to generate my password. Bitwarden recognized that I just created an account. So it's asking me, should Bitwarden remember this password for you? In this case, since I already saved this login into Bitwarden, I'll exit out of it. But if you didn't already have it stored in Bitwarden, you could click yes and it would remember it for you in that way. So it's, it's as simple as that. I'll go ahead and show you what, if you were to download Bitwarden onto your computer, it's actually a computer web app. So I'll sign into my temporary account. And this is what the web app looks like. Obviously I created a Twitter account. I created a Reddit account. So it has both of those logins stored. If you, you can also store credit card information, your ID details. You can just have any secure notes that you want to add. And all of this information is, is safe in your Bitwarden vault. So it doesn't have to be difficult storing all your passwords and generating new passwords for different services. Programs like Bitwarden allow you to do this very easily. And I'll actually go ahead and show you how this would look on your phone. So on my iPhone, I'm going to show you how I also incorporate Bitwarden to make it seamless no matter what device I'm on. So in my actual settings on my phone, I'll scroll down to passwords and accounts. And if I click on autofill passwords, my iPhone recognizes that I have Bitwarden installed and it will allow me to use Bitwarden instead of the typical iCloud keychain to autofill passwords when I'm signing into things. So this is super useful so that no matter what device I'm using to create an account or sign into something, it'll be stored in the same vault, which is in this case Bitwarden. So I'm going to actually show you what the app looks like. As you can see, I've got my two logins that I created on my PC and it already updated. It knows I'm signed into the same vault, so it's kind of seamless. So what I'll do is go to Reddit and sign into my new account. So I'm on the login screen. I'll go ahead and click login. And as you can see, right above my keyboard, Bitwarden recognizes that I can autofill the login that it has stored since I'm on Reddit. So if I just simply click that, it will scan my face to make sure it's me and I can simply log in from there. And it's that easy to use on your phone or your computer and it integrates as long as you're logged into the same vault, it will update automatically. And it's a very easy way to create accounts, make unique passwords, and keep yourself safer online. And with that being said, I appreciate you watching this video. I'm gonna continue making videos about different services I use online that will be useful to others. A lot of them will be privacy oriented, but a lot of them will simply be about just making our online lives easier and more enjoyable overall. So if you can throw me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested in future content, I really appreciate that. But until next time, I'll see you later.